I'm gonna give you the top five leg exercises that you can do on a Smith machine, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from GarageStrength.com, and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in becoming a better athlete, you wanna get a leg pump, you wanna improve your overall strength, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you become a beast. So you're heading to the gym, you're ready to start smashing your legs. You wanna do a really, really big time deadlift workout. You're starting to feel pretty strong, and as you're warming up, you just feel that little bit of a tweak in your lower back. You've got some back pain, and you're starting to get a little bit concerned. So you're sitting there and you're wondering, all right, what can I do to salvage this workout? What can I do to actually walk out of this gym today and feel better about my workout and feel better about training my legs and stimulating some serious leg growth if my back is a little banged up? And that's where the Smith machine comes into play. A lot of athletes and a lot of people in general want to avoid the Smith machine like it's the plague. They don't want to go anywhere near that machine. And one of the key factors is that's okay, but once in a while, it's also okay to get on it, have some fun and realize that if you are struggling with back pain, it can do a ton as far as taking pressure off of your lower back and then leading into some serious growth. So if we can think about it, one, we can isolate specific movements, okay? We're on a track, so we know that if we manipulate the way our body is positioned underneath that barbell, it's gonna really, really isolate specific muscle groups while we're on the Smith machine, okay? So that's one of those key factors that you've gotta have. If we're doing a traditional back squat with a free weight barbell, we're gonna stimulate every single muscle in the entire body to a very high threshold, okay? But if we're on a Smith machine and we're doing a traditional back squat, it's almost impossible to do it exactly the same because it's on a track. So we've gotta think about that. All right, if I move my body in certain positions, I can target my quads a little bit more. I can target my hamstrings in another position. I can target my glutes in a third position. So that's a key concept to understand when we're talking about squatting, training your legs, and trying to get a big pump on the Smith machine. And so that brings us to our five exercises that you can take to the gym today and start smashing, okay? So right off the bat, I paired curtsy lunges with sissy squats. Okay, so curtsy lunges, what, what are we trying to work on? We're trying to smash our glute med, even our glute max to a, to a point. We wanna feel good mobility through our hips. So if we can get positioned underneath that barbell, we know that if our front foot stays in place and we cross our back leg behind our front foot, we're gonna immediately feel that glute medius really get lit up on the Smith machine. This is something that's really hard to do with a traditional barbell. It's okay to do this if we're in a goblet position with a dumbbell, but when we're talking about curtsy lunges with a barbell, it can be a little bit harder, especially to get a nice heavy load on the bar. And that's one thing that we've got to think about is when you're doing a curtsy squat or curtsy lunge on a Smith machine, you can put more weight on it because everything's going to be stationary. Everything's going to be controlled by that track. So hit the position with the curtsy lunge, go five sets of seven on each leg and superset that with sissy squats. Okay, so one of the great parts behind getting on a Smith machine is that when you can move your feet forward and you're doing a traditional sissy squat where you start to come back, those knees track forward past the toes, okay, and your hips stay forward, now the quads get really lengthened and they light up. And so pair these two together because if we can think about it, the curtsy lunge, it's gonna be more posterior chain, it's gonna be way more posterior chain and a little bit more mobility. It's gonna loosen up your knees as well. Then you get into that sissy squat position with your feet forward in front of the track. It's gonna be more of that bilateral movement. So when you're hitting those sissy squats with that Smith machine position, the main focus is to keep the hips forward and load the quads. Okay, so superset those together. Five sets of seven on, the, on each leg on the, curtsy, on the curtsy lunges. And then when you're hitting those sissy squats, smash five sets of 20, okay, you can lighten the load, you can even put a little bit of, maybe you put some plates underneath your heels, that's gonna target the quads even further and it's gonna crush your legs. Okay, so those next two exercises that you can smash is gonna be a traditional split squat, okay? So when I'm talking about a split squat, it's gonna be similar to doing a single leg squat where your rear leg is elevated, but now we're gonna keep that rear leg down on the floor. 
So we almost want the direct center of gravity right under the barbell. We want to split that bar evenly with our feet. Okay, so the front foot's going to be, you know, 50% in front of the barbell. The back foot's going to be 50% behind the barbell. And guess what? This is a position that could help strengthen if you're a split jerker in Olympic weightlifting, if you're struggling with really targeting the groin and the hamstrings as an athlete, a split squat on a Smith machine will actually help you feel that motor pattern very, very well. And I like to pair those with the squat to the bench. Now, the reason why, squatting to the bench is gonna be a lot shorter range of motion. It's gonna be the top end range of motion on a squat. So there's gonna be a lot more of the load on the quads at the finish, okay? The split squat is, again, that's gonna be similar to the curtsy lunge where it's gonna be targeting more of the posterior chain. It's gonna be opening up your hips a little bit more, opening up your groin. So we can sit there and go, all right, let's go four sets of five on each leg on the split squat with a little bit more weight. You head over to the squats to the bench, you slide the bench right in, and then you just sit there, you target you know, five sets of 20 to 25. Again, this is similar to the sissy squat, but there's going to be a little bit more load on the posterior chain, not a ton, because you're only doing that top end range, and that's where we're going to be really, really hammering out that, those quads. So then we're going to finish that split squat, one set of 12 on each leg, try and get nice and deep, and this is another trick that you can do to increase that range of motion is elevate your feet. Maybe you put a plate in the front and a plate in the back, and that helps you elevate, and now you can get even deeper as you get through that workout, that squat to the bench then on that last set, go to failure do a death set dave tate used to call this the death set you do a set of 30 40 reps just to light up your quads to light up your back a little bit and you're going to feel your heart is blasting and this is a really really good pairing when you're utilizing that smith machine for that leg growth okay that number one exercise that i found when playing around on the smith machine was a front squat and i grabbed a traditional bodybuilder uh, stance front squat with my arms crossed. No haters here for the Olympic weightlifting crowd. But what I found was when I was doing this, it was very similar to the sissy squat. I had a stupid pump in the quads. And that's one thing that I loved about the front squat on the Smith machine is that some people struggle quite a bit when they're front squatting because they tend to lean forward. They start to load that lower back. They start to take a lot of that weight off of the quads. And instead, even when they're front squatting, they transfer a lot of that load to their hamstrings. Okay, so a lot of longer limbed athletes struggle with proper front squat mechanics. Hit that front squat position on a Smith machine you're not leaning forward because of the way the track moves. The track controls you and it prevents you from leaning forward. So the problem here, if you're a longer limbed athlete, is you can't use as much weight as you typically would otherwise use when you're doing your leaning forward front squats like I do. But because you're on the track, now your quads might actually start to grow. And that's exactly what happened. You can sit there and you can spend four sets of seven reps. And oftentimes when we're talking about one of the limiting factors with front squat, it's hard to just hold that upright for higher reps, for higher volume. Now on the Smith machine, that volume can get increased drastically because you don't have to worry about your upper back fatiguing. Now all you're doing is you're focusing on squatting, on executing that front squat position. You can still get very deep and your quads will get blown up. And I would even say start that workout with the front squat. Okay, hit that front squat position, get some good stimulation. Maybe you do a drop set to try and really fatigue and then you get into the curtsy lunge and the sissy squat. The sissy squat following that front squat will light your quads up. You're gonna get a really good pump and your VMO is actually gonna to start to grow and you're gonna be proud of filling out those quads inside of your jeans. So out of all the things that you could do, if you go to the gym and you do a traditional leg workout, just do one of these exercises in the, in the Smith machine today. Go to the gym, hit up one of these today. I would even say just hit that sissy squat in the Smith machine. Now you can sit there, you do three sets of 20, three sets of 25. Just do one of these exercises today when you go work out and you're gonna feel better. You're gonna realize that the Smith machine isn't the plague and you actually can grow a significant amount of muscle mass just from working on that track. So again, if you want help increasing muscle mass, click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com. You can pick up our 12 week mass builder program. If you want more content around increasing lean muscle mass, getting stronger, getting more yoke, click on this card right here. Until next time guys, peace.